Welcome to the introduction to computer programming class. Um, this will be a brief um, um, class demonstration of the subject. Okay, so I will be asking the, the students to log in and um, sign in to the course selection or decision. So last meeting we discussed or uh, we discussed uh, the details about program logic control structures. So we uh, for this meeting we will be focusing on selection and decision. Okay, so we have Angelo, David, uh, Jeff. Okay, we have. Okay, Ian. Okay, so we have a total of uh, 15 students now. Okay, so let's start the class. So let me share you um, whatever appears in my screen. So it should appear in your screen too. Okay. I can send it to you, sir. What is your job today? So what we have now is a sample code for the selection or decision structure. So this, um, this is how the program will work. So let me activate the flowchart for that code. So, the code that I displayed earlier consists of a total of 11 objects or sprites. So, this is how it should work. So, we discussed uh, last meeting the sequence or uh, sequential structure. So, when we run the program, the first thing that should be activated is the laptop object. So, the laptop object should hide first the directional arrow. So we have a total of three gears. So first, the laptop object should hide the uh, rotational direction arrows, and then it will emit a sound, and, and then it will elicit an input from the user. Okay, so it will ask the user to type in something. So it is expecting lowercase c or uppercase c to turn the first gear clockwise. Any other key that will be typed in by the user will turn the first gear counterclockwise, as you can see in the flowchart. If the user press lowercase c or uppercase c, so the left gear will turn clockwise, the second gear will turn counterclockwise, and the last gear will turn clockwise. Otherwise, the first gear will turn counterclockwise, and so on and so forth. Okay, so... Um, causing a rea um, reaction to the other um, gears. Okay, so let us go back to the sample code. Okay, so I am going to run the program. So, again, so remember that the first object that will be activated is the laptop, okay, and then it will cause the arrows, the directional arrows to be hidden, and then it will emit a sound and then ask an input from the user, okay, so let me run the program, okay, so it is now asking for the user to input something, okay, let's say I inputted any other characters aside from the lowercase c or uppercase c. So let me select J. 
So stands for my name. So uh, John. So J. So when I uh, press the enter key or click this check button, it will cause the first gear to turn counterclockwise, the middle gear clockwise, and the third gear counterclockwise. Okay? So let us have an exercise. Okay, what we have now are the jumbled codes for the initial event. Okay, so please remember that when I activated the start flag icon, this is, uh, these are the sequence of events. Okay, so the laptop should hide the rotational direction arrows, and then... It will emit a sound, then it will ask an input from the user. Okay, so based on the input from the user, it will cause the first gear to turn either clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, I need a volunteer to rearrange the codes here, okay, such that it will work properly. Okay, so any volunteer? Donna? Oh. We have two volunteers, Donna and Angelo. So let's give the pen first to Donna. Okay. So what we have now is when the Um, you can type an input value by Okay, you can do that, Donna. <laughs> there. Review. Okay, so again, when I activated the uh, Okay, so let us have a review. Okay, so again, when I click the, um, the green flag icon, so the first event that should be activated is it should broadcast something. So, to hide the rotational directions. Okay, so that is to, to reset everything. Okay, and then the laptop should emit a sound. Okay, and then it will ask an input from the user. So, so far, we are, um, Donna is doing right here. And then what is the next step? So, based on the input of the user, it will determine the rot uh, rotational direction of the gear. Okay, so... Can we finish the code? Yes. yes. <laughs> there. And then, yes. Uh, okay, let's see if the code is working properly now. Okay, so let me maximize the screen for... Okay, so... <coughs> Okay, so it is now um, asking for an input. Okay, so I need another volunteer to really test if the program of Donna is now working. Angelo. <laughs> so 
you press C. Okay, so it is it. Are the gears turning in the right direction? Yes. Okay. So, okay, let us have an exam. Okay. <laughs> so, let us test your understanding of program logic formulation. So, let me minimize first the program. Okay, so we will have a, diagno a diagnostic test to see whether you have a good grasp of the program logic control structures. Okay, this is a three minutes um, test or exam. So are you ready? Okay, so let's start. Then don't forget to submit your test. Okay, so currently we have a total of eight students who submitted their exam already. <laughs> Last 30 seconds. Okay. There are still two students who is not submitting their uh, their quiz. Okay, so one more. We need one more. Eldest Okay, so time is up. <laughs> okay, let us view the, the result. Okay. Uh, okay, we have 42% uh, of the students got item number one correct. Okay, so 71% of the students got item two, uh, item number two correct. Okay, so 1% got item number 3 right. 
Okay. So for item number four, we only have four percent. And then for the last item, we have a total of um, fifty percent students um, got it right. Okay. So for next meeting, we will be discussing um, iteration or loops. Okay, as part of the program logical crawl structures. So uh, before um, I end the class, so I will ask, I'm going to request all the students to please stand up. Okay, all students, please stand up. Okay, so what, what a better way to end the class. So I want you to turn around. So the people behind the classroom, okay, I want you to thank the people, so... Uh, behind this classroom. Okay, so on my count. Okay, one, <laughs> two, three. Okay. Th uh, thank you very much, Samsung. Okay, one, two, three. Thank, thank you very much, Samsung. Thank you.